Well, there's my old mower here. I've had it since 2000, bought it new in 2010. And I've just been giving it some touch up paint on there in spots where the it had disappeared from I say it still in pretty good shape for being as old as it is I say here's he's talking about garages well here's my garage here I call spiders paradise and here's the old Aaron snow throw I've got you see it's only got uh, four forward gears and one reverse this thing here I assume goes under these bolts here but I can't never get it up close enough to get it under them so it just kind of flops around down there I guess I need to get some washers and some flat washers like fender washers or something where I can hold that on there and then I say it's a pretty stout little machine it's got those god-awful plastic tires on it though and you can see they are well well worn they have to be you have to grind through those things that look like lug nuts because those are rivets and split the rim apart to get those off and then manage to find a tube and a tire to fit those while I was thinking about just getting that one in northern Kentucky there it's up close by Cincinnati Ohio but yeah we got all of our uh, there's cleaners and protectants and more cleaners and lubricant and everything up there I got your, I got my fluid film ready to go uh, band saw and drill press and there's the radial arm saw I spent a month restoring. I say it's, it took a while. It, it was a rust bucket and a half. And if you, I left the inside the way it was when I got it. And you can see on, just on that door that the inside was in decent shape. But it's still maybe cleaning up and painting and stuff and put a new power cord on and uh, strain relief and new toggle switch there yeah it does just fine I gotta find a place to put my tools here I've been cleaning up on the garage and trying to find a a pl new place to store my tools at there but there's wrenches and all kinds and gear wrenches and levels and straight edges and clamps and uh, nuts and bolts and wood lathe and uh, oh compressor and hose reel for it there I think yours was a electric cord reel I put up a hose reel <laughs> there's my little BG 50 steel and the FS 56 RE uh, RCE steel and somewhere buried back there right back in there is my um ms 170 steel chainsaw bench grinder 
lots and lots of spray paint. More cleaners and stuff and uh, wood toners and waxes and seafoam, about everything, about everything you'd ever need, brake fluid, <laughs> multi-purpose grease, red and tacky grease. I take a hand once in a while at restoring old radios and I need to get this old 1946 Philco here for too long. The last one I restored, well, I restored the innards on it. Haven't done anything to the cabinet yet, but I don't know that I will because it's just a garage radio. But this is made in about 1960. 1959 or 1960. I'll say you, you can tell by the uh, Conal Rad emblems on there. They used to use those, that's where you'd tune in in case of a um, nuclear war. Well, uh-oh, it's got music on. Don't want to get a copyright strike. I always got to remember, these old radios, the on-off switch is on the tone control and not the volume. But... I fig just figured I'd give you a look around my old, wood, my old garage here. I scroll saw down there, and there's my old chop saw buried back in the back behind the scrap wood. Uh, angle grinders and drills and sanders and I don't know what all here big battery charger there and a little battery charger there and there's a real little battery charger in the house it's probably old as I am you just use it for trickle charging belt and disc sander sitting there and I say it's what I call controlled chaos jack stands over there a brand new bandsaw back there, a little bitty one that I got for Christmas one year and the first time I went to use it, the belt broke on it and I just put it away. I guess I need to put it on Facebook Marketplace and sell it or something, I don't know. That's probably what I want to do to that table saw. Although, it's a pretty good one. It's old. Of course, it's a model nine, I mean nine inch saw, and most all the table saws you get nowadays are ten inch. This thing was rusty when I got it. My goodness, you couldn't see the the top of it for being so rusty. But I I've got it sanded down, and well, I didn't sand it. I used a Scotch Brite pad underneath the random orbital sander, sprayed WD-40 on there, and went to town on the thing. I need to do that to these fence rails here. I'll do that by hand though. I say this here is not rust. I don't know. It's just dirt corrosion or something because these are aluminum. These on the sides. This is cast iron, but these two are aluminum. I just figured I'd give you a look around my old shop here. I say there's that's the snow blower that I first bought but I didn't realize gravel driveway you can't use a um, a single stage on there that's why I got that errands because it's a two stage this one here I'm just gonna give it to a friend of mine for Christmas they've got a paved driveway anyhow uh, our driveway we had new gravel put down just last year but you it you'd be hard pressed to tell it. I say the weeds and stuff grow up in it just as fast as you can kill them all. We did spray weed killer between the two vehicles there, but I say here in about a week that'll turn green again. It just the weed killer just don't last long around here. Alrighty, well this is Gary signing off, and thanks for watching.